Hi guys, I'm back. Um, well, I qualified to go to the Philippines in November for the Calis Games. Uh, <laughs> I found out today, and guess where I am? Disneyland. <laughs> That's my cousin Josephine. We both qualified for Cal's Games in the Philippines. Nice! And that's what we're training for. Yeah. 
There we go. What's up everyone? Um, I have been gone for a little bit, but that's because I felt like I wasn't like bringing anything to you guys. I was just kind of like recording my workouts. I wasn't like on a quest. I didn't have really have a journey that like I could share with you. I was kind of stuck um, between some weird crap that happened and I don't know if it's okay to talk about, but um, yeah, some weird stuff was happening and I was super unmotivated to both train and like, I don't know, it was just to do anything. So I felt like to continue just like po just posting for the sake of posting felt dumb. Um, but yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video, I qualified, I think it's pronounced uh, for the Calis Games in the Philippines. Um, it's going to be super cool. Uh, it's a pre-sanctional. And I know that sounds weird because I think it is kind of weird. Basically what it means is, I don't know how many they're taking, but they're taking a certain number of people to the Asia, Asia Championships or whatever to qualify for the CrossFit Games. So, but it's not a sanctional. It's a pre-sanctional to qualify for the sanctional event to qualify for the games I mean either way it's gonna be fun it is weird but it will be fun um, so I've never been to the Philippines and I'm 100% of Filipino descent uh, and before like all the people oh the Spanish or yeah whatever we all have like some Spanish blood they only conquered like most of the world at one point um, yeah so I've never been to the Philippines. I'm finally going to see the place of like, I guess my like my bloodline, my where my DNA started. It's really cool to think about it like that. I feel a little bit different this time around because now I feel like I have content that I can share with everyone. Uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing as far as like training or and what I'm training for and who I'm training with or like what my goals are because I think everyone in CrossFit especially if you're competing can totally relate to like the day-to-day -day stuff like I still have a job that I have to do I still have chores that I have to get done at home I still have to take care of my dog my girlfriend um, I still have to do everything that a normal person does on top of that, be ready to compete at a fairly high level um, because I'm sure that the people that are competing aren't there to come in second place, you know? Everyone wants to go to that sanctional. If, if they could qualify for that sanctional, then why not, right? Um, another thing is, it's international, so it's not just people from the Philippines that are competing few Australians for sure I've seen on there um, uh, Koreans Chinese Japanese so like there's like it's gonna be 
a big event with a lot of different kinds of athletes from a lot of different walks of life. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be cool. It's going to be the biggest thing I've experienced in CrossFit um, as far as, you know, like competing on my own. That That's going to be really cool. That's what I'm excited about and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm back. Also, I'm proud to say that I wrote the music that you guys are hearing when you see me and Josephine um, training together. Um, I thought it'd be cool to, I guess, challenge myself creatively mm, in a different way. Uh, and then not obviously not using uh, other people's music is, I mean, you're, it's not like I'm getting like any monetary compensation, so that doesn't really matter, but now my my video can't be flagged so that's really cool but yeah see you guys please like share subscribe hit the bell do this stuff do comments and stuff thanks bye